I just wanted to say a little bit about the lineage. Um, I already talked a little bit um, last year. Also, somebody emailed me about the authenticity of questioning about authenticity of the lineage, um, so forth. <laughs> In the West, I don't know, we have this kind of idea about um, so easy to uh, solidify or slide into the institutional idea about the lineage. The idea of the lineage, which is institutional. Like, uh, for example, this two lineage we practicing right now, or the other we're going to practice, the Dakini lineage in the father uh, um, And the people ask, oh, um, Lineage because these are uh, transmitted quite uh, discreetly, so not many people didn't know. So, oh, Gerupa lineage, <laughs> oh, you uh, Gerupa Chopa uh, lineage. In the sense that the lineage, core of the lineage, nothing to do with institutional, the more uh, beneficial way, of course, it's a uh, uh, it's a benefit to think that way. This is a Kagyu practice. This is a Nima practice. This is a Geru practice. Of course, there's a uh, meaning to say that. But at the same time, for us uh, living in the West, uh, it's more beneficial, essential ways to viewing the lineage. It's like a process of transmission. Again, I'm using this term, but the process of transmission. When we receive the teaching or transmission from teacher, then we are receiving a thread, kind of thread <laughs> of the fabric, thread, uh, receiving a thread of awakening or thread of realization or transmission uh, from the teacher. Then each of us, we are the one practice to make it into a rope, adding our own realization or whatever uh, come to know as true. Then create, then, then we transmit that rope or uh, thread onto the next um, uh, generation. In that sense, uh, essence of lineage is not about Gerupa uh, or the uh, or the Nima, or nothing institutional, especially the Dakini lineage, which we're going to practice, uh, is uh, really far away from the institution, institutional framework. And uh, so for us as a practitioner, it's uh, kind of nice to keep in mind, like an inner leaf, the, uh, lineage. Um, rope of our own realization, then pass it on to the next generation. Mm. So just uh, something I just wanted to say. <laughs> this, uh, we are the practitioner are the one who really make, uh, either make the pure current of uh, snow melted water <laughs> muddy or not. So it's up to us, and the lineage itself is a really pure uh, current, pure snow melted water, which has a pure source coming from the awakened being, uh, the Buddha, Shakyamuni Buddha, magic lapton, or awakening uh, being. So it con consists of the awakened being's realizations. So through receiving the transmission, I'm just repeat, myself but the receiving transmission and also um, teaching through te from the teacher that that what that mean is that we are receiving the thread or the part of that water drop of that water mm, so that's kind of important i think uh, um, sometimes uh, in the west it uh, was not uh, I don't know, I, I don't <laughs> receive any teaching from the Western teacher, but uh, um, mm, just my, 
Mahamudra and Dzogchen, very popular practice. And then why we need to practice lineage and uh, receiving something uh, uh, external, so to speak, the injury that's come. Um, so it's very important to important to practice. Mm. But again, it's uh, each of us to see whether it's uh, important or not, right? And um, so blessing is, uh, that's a very difficult term to uh, translate. But energy, sometimes people uh, translate <laughs> energy or some kind of energy transmitted from teacher to disciple or whatever. But that's a direct experience. That's only count, no? You taste the chocolate. If you taste the chocolate, then you don't need to describe it. You, know? you just enjoy the taste of chocolate. And so that's a uh, blessing. So we are just entering into this uh, lineage prayers. So basically we are recognizing the living quality of transmission from the Buddhas all the way down to the living master without the interaction. So this is a really good time to really recognize this is a living, alive uh, transmission we are receiving. Directly come on to us. So with the kind of feeling of the gratitude and appreciation and the celebration of these opportunities. And another way to look at the lineage prayer is to uh, make ourselves in a suitable vessel. You know, when we receive something really pure, we have to clean up the vessel, right? We have to have a very nice uh, clean vessel. So this lineage prayer is a practice for cleaning up the uh, vessel so that we can open up to the uh, pure nectar of the awake. Uh, presence. Mm. Then we can really, in a true sense, we can take a seat in the living current of blessing mm. or the energies, which is the practice, practice itself, which we are doing. So this is uh, one way to really participate in, uh, in this uh, practice and the lineage and the current of uh, blessing.